Hello everyone and welcome back to a new lesson. In today's lesson we will keep working on the details of the closets. You may notice here I have a new file called 02 underscore base and I usually save increments of my files just in case if I was saving my file and the program crash or whatever I would always have a backup. That's very important. Now I want to work on the closets here. This is one of them so I'm going to isolate my selection and convert this to edit poly. I will press Ctrl Shift to make a duplicate of this face, make it another object. And this face here, I'm going to move it on the Y. So by the way, offset mode transform. Here we have two options to visualize the values. So for example, if I select a vertex in the space, the X, Y, and Z values will be displayed in absolute mode, which is the default value. So if we set this to zero, 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 and press G, this is the center of our grid, okay? But I'm going to press Ctrl Z multiple times to bring this back to where it was. I like to work with this mode, offset mode, and by default we see 0, 0, 0, and I would simply select this face or anything I want to offset, and I type minus 2 if I want. So in the past lessons, if you saw me just changing things here and you don't have the same, that's because I have this enabled. It's just so much easier than changing this to another uh, value. Since I am using shell a lot, what I'm going to do is to press on configure modifier sets. I add the modifiers I use a lot here. Just let me remember. So this VR division, I will select this and oh, this is old. My modifier set. This is also old configure. I think I'm going to save this on top of VR division. Let me check. Just leave some space, click save. And I'm going to add Two more modifiers. I'm going to add shell and maybe symmetry. I used to use that a lot. I already have it. I'm gonna add it for now and whatever I'm going to add later it's okay. So I'm going to click on shell and I will add the value of 2. Press Alt A to align and we want the Y minimum maximum. There we go. Let's do the same for this room here. So if you look at our reference here we have four doors, we have a sliding door, and we have one, two, three, four, also four or five, both are okay. And look at these beautiful details, I just love these. You can see that here, you can see that here, and so on. So I will do this, so right click, when you press Ctrl F on pure ref, if you right click, it will disable the maximized mode, or middle right click to move this to another screen, and I will select this here, I convert this to edit poly, and I will add some swift loops. So I press 2 to go to edge mode, press shift S to add a swift loop. I want one here and I want one here. For this one, I will love. Uh, so usually the, here's what I do. I don't know what is the distance between this vertex and this vertex. Maybe it's this. And I want for this to be exactly 2 centimeters. The way I do this, I press on the Y axis or X axis, whatever axis I want, and I move this all the way to this vertex. So I press S to snap this here, and notice we have something weird going on. Now, I will enable this offset mode, and I press minus two, and that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So move this, press S to snap it here, select this face, this face, click on grow. I will detach my selection here, Select this, isolate my selection, press on rapid Q cap, and we can do the same on this face as well. Okay, I will select these four edges like this, and I will press C on my keyboard to basically just connect. And I will do the same here. So don't do this or this because you're gonna have end gun here. So you need to select everything. I'm holding control and I will add this to my selection and Max will recognize like all of this as one selection. So one, two, three, four, maybe we can, yeah, let's keep them at four, should be nice. And I think for my OCD, I will just move this here. These are already selected for us. What we can do to make distance, so here's another way to add like distance between the faces. I don't know how I remembered this out of the blue, but what we can do is click on chamfer, and we can determine how much chamfer we want, which is usually I go for 0 0.25, the 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So the total is 0 0.5. So 
So if you measure from this vertex to this vertex, it's 0 0.5, okay? So I'm gonna just press Ctrl Z multiple times, press 2 again to go to chamfer mode, set the value I want, and I will switch now the chamfer. Here we have an option called open chamfer. When we tick this, look at that, chamfer, there we go, perfect. Now, just like always, select these open borders and click on rapid Q cap. If you don't have this, I will leave a link in the description or in the resources tab. But I think at this point you should have this, right? Just Google it. So press two, that's my nice shortcut. Press two and press two. And if I want to double check my geometry, I can select any of these, move it out, looking good and so on. So we can do the same here. I will select these and press on loop because I want to make sure that these are also selected or you can simply do this and deselect these and you can do chamfer, click yes and let's select all of these and click on rapid Q cap if it works. I think it works. Yes, it works. Let's do this as well. So select all of these, click on loop and click on chamfer. I think it's better I set a shortcut for this at this point. Select everything and rapid Q cap. I will select all of these because now these are like they're perfectly aligned with the bed and I'm going to move them like five centimeters top. So when we take a look at this side, we will see, oh, like there is this door and this is blocked or something. It's completely fine. As for this here, we can do the exact same. So let's do it really fast. We'll move this two centimeters, press control shift to make a copy of this, make it as element, this nice element, Sorry, not element, we need to make it as its own a separate mesh. Select these two edges, click on connect. We want one, two, three, four, looking good. Click chamfer, 0.25, and open chamfer, click yes. And here's the fun part. There is no need to rapid Q cap anything because we will do shell now. The order of the steps you do things will either add or reduce the amount of work you're going to do. So by simply adding shell later, I just saved myself from selecting everything and pressing rapid Q cap. And that's faster and much better. So here's a little trick. I will uh, move this here, make a copy, move it to this vertex here. And I will select on FFD, select all of these and move them, snap them to this here. Now, something to know. This will also change, so it's not 0.5 anymore, it's slightly less. It's 0.45 something. When we do the FFD modifier, it's squashing basically everything here. Okay? Just so you know. But we would not be able to tell such a small lab difference. And I like for these to be perfectly aligned. What I'm going to do is to select everything except for this guy. Go to Edit Poly, select these vertices and just snap them here and go back out from isolate mode things are looking nice and we're good let's do the beds so looking at our reference again we have this part separate we have this part and it's so nice to see these from different angles i'm going to delete this and this and i will delete these two as well i will detach this and now i'm going to add so select this and let's connect Looking at the reference, I would say this is like 15 to 20. So I'm going to move this on the X, on the Z axis to the top and move it like minus 10, minus 5. Yeah, looking good. Then this here, I can delete it and add one edge here. And I can select this edge, detach it, work on it separately a little. Here's what I'm going to do. I will click on shell and I will uh, do the shell inwards, so minus two, and then I will ring selection, connect, and let's say minus 0.5, select this part here and do little extrude of one. Let's do the same. So I'm gonna select this. It looks like this is not in the direction I want, so I, I can center my uh, pivot. So instead of doing this, then center. As I said earlier, I have a shortcut for that, all right. So you can put this here and move it like as, sorry, not on this axis, on this axis. As for this part in the back, 
we need to detach this one here on the top and we need to select this edge move it here as for this we can simply click on shell move this to edit poly and set it somewhere here there we go almost select this part and i will do a shell as well minus two select all of these edit poly and move them here and we can do like very small gap in between what we need to do is to have something behind which is this object here now select this move it all the way here select this edge do this collapse this add a shell modifier if needed so we don't see like back and if we look at this image we can see we have one and two so there are three drawers let's do that let's make a copy of this as well while we're at it move it here select this snapping these vertices and add it poly if needed move it all the way here for now let's select this part let's collapse it and let's do this so i'm going to connect but before i do the connect i just need to make sure that we set this here first correct so i'm going to do first one connect okay which is this move it exactly here and then get rid of this and do this and now i can select these three I can do chamfer 0.25 is fine open chamfer and there we go now in this scenario i'm going to detach this and isolate my selection to explain so in this scenario we can't do rapid q cap like this because we need to help it first and to do that we can select these two edges first do a bridge in between and then select this and do a rapid q cap sometimes you need to make its job a little easier and that's okay because it makes my job a little easier too right i can simply select the part i fixed and i press shift move it on the x make an instance and i will start centering them here move this here looking good this is actually smaller than this it's okay here is perfect and here it should also be perfect and i can select the big mesh to this and delete it and let's take a look let's move this uh, sorry name it like clay as we see make our view a little bigger there we go if you look at the reference again we have the table we don't have this part here in the inside so i'm going to add a little box from this place to this place move it to here and i use snapping like this because it helps me so i click on this point which is this corner okay and then i select this corner because i want to snap this to the to this height basically and i release and now yeah it's not the shape we want but we can simply reduce the length to whatever we want which is two in this case and we can do quick align if needed you want to experiment with the current and target with the minimum and the maximum to get the result you want and to finalize this nice bed let's add a box from here to here let's set the thickness to something like two and let's move it like minus 10 this is where the nice i forgot its name will be so i'm going to press ctrl s to save i will select this box and i will select all of these and i will deselect it's just easier this way and the way i'm deselecting i'm just isolating and unisolating my stuff so all of this it looks like it's in the kitchen layer isn't it and that's not good so just these two so i can move them here because the kitchen was our active layer don't forget to change your active layers i make a copy of this now and i will add a mirror modifier so i'm going to configure my modifier sets search for mirror add it here and here i'm going to save this as vr division click ok and i add this select the axis replace this with this and delete this and look at that very nice you can do the same for this table so move it to here looking good i'm going to stop the lesson here in the next lesson we're going to work on this room
If you found this useful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, from now on, make good art. See you soon.